Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm like halfway through the unboxing. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I think uh, it saves the VOD, so I'll edit that and um, you can get some of the full experience there. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, okay, let me give you a summary of the experience. I took all of this out of this box here. <laughs> I found the KVD67 uh, <laughs> PCB, uh, two pieces of foam. Um, <laughs> this box uh, is magnetic. It's kind of nice, I guess. KVD fans moving to magnetic boxes. Hope not all their budget is spent there. Um, the first thing to come out of it is this uh, e-white plate. Very nice. Good plate. I think it looks great. Nice finish. Oh, what's this? No, that's alright. Um, yeah, so I guess we should start over and hello everyone <laughs> okay I'm not gonna repack it there will be VODs <laughs> um, yeah so uh, let me look at my notes okay so this is the KB Defense D65 uh, this was paid in full by me. I waited in line just like everyone else. Uh, KBD fans has no idea this was coming to me. Um, yeah, uh, and this is also my first stream with a camera. So as you can see, it is extremely rough. Um, <laughs> hope that is okay with you and um, yeah, the reason why I'm doing this stream is because, uh, 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 right, I had a reason. It's because um, it takes me a long time to make these videos, but uh, sometimes like when there's a group buy running, I want you to have the information beforehand. Uh, so that could be helpful when the group buy is running. Uh, this has obviously ended, but that's not really my fault. Um, in those cases, uh, it's useful for you to uh, I don't know, get a look at it, I guess. Uh, sorry, I'm not gonna do mouth smacking as more. All right, so back to the plate. So we got plate and it also comes with these gaskets. See, now it's weird because I already talked about all of this. Um, it's Unnatural. So these gaskets are stickers and they're pieces of foam. So you take these off and stick them on to these uh, wings on the plate. And the idea is that it's compressed between the uh, top and bottom halves of the case and it can kind of absorb vibrations and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, so some of the accessories that came with all of this is the stabs, they're screw in. I can't really tell if they're GMK, uh, they're probably not. Um, I'm not gonna install these because I don't like getting lube on my hands. Um, but I think it's a good bet that they're not good stabs. Other stuff is uh, these screws. Um, they now come in these little package boxes or, or pouches. And I think they're kind of nice. Um, they also say they're machine packed, so that's like KVD fans investing in logistics or whatever. Uh, we got the Torx screwdriver because they're using Torx in their boards for some reason. It's kind of annoying. Um, of course, the bump ons, and just like Legos and IKEA uh, packing list. Um, there's something about this card that's really uh, hard to read 
it seems like the images, like this is the right side up, but the words, this is right side up. So that's, I don't know, that's kind of weird. All right, there's one last thing in the pouch and, wait, more gaskets? Oh, looks like I got two sets of gaskets. I guess I get two, so some of you get none. Sorry. All right. Just taking a look at this box here. This has got some like velvety material. I wonder how much they blew on this box because I mean, if they're compromising on their keyboards, then was it really worth it? I don't know. Okay, getting into the case itself. Wow, this is actually much heavier than uh, the Bella. Or uh, much denser, I guess. So we got the E yellow color. Um, white balance is set on this camera. This is uh, roughly what I see in person. So as you can tell, this is um, orange. This is definitely orange. This is E pumpkin. Um, I kind of knew that from the pictures of Polaris I saw. I think it's actually kind of nice. It's interesting. It's you know eye catching. So I don't have a problem with it. But if you're expecting real yellow, uh, this is not it. Um, let me just get a close up so I can. Inspect the finish. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, as usual, it's got some, like, orange peel effect going on. But that's kind of expected of these E finishes, so that's whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I guess that concludes our unboxing portion. Let me see what you guys have to say. You should have bought Space 65 Cyber Voyager. Funny you should mention it. Because I actually do have one. Um, not the Cyber Voyager, but this is a Space 65. I think it's a really attractive keyboard, but I have my thoughts on it. Um, I think I brought it out because it seems kind of similar to this guy. Um, thoughts on Blocker? I mean this guy. Yeah, so I think this is a separate piece from the case that you can remove, which I think is kind of neat, right? And uh, there's also this piece you can remove. Like that's kind of weird, but as you can see, this is a asymmetrical design here. The bottom piece goes all the way up to here, but not past this left side. And that removal blocker is not present on the left side, only on the right. Yeah. Okay, let me get cleaned up a little bit so I have some room to work with. If you guys saw my stream set up, you guys would laugh. It is atrocious. I guess we should start to get into this board. Um, I'm gonna start by um, removing the weight to see how sort of dense it is. Um, the Bella and the TFV2 that KVD fans had recently. Um, those had like really tiny weights and it just made me think like there's no real point to having them like I feel like they have them only to 
kind of appease the crowd of newcomers that think brass and heavyweight is good. Um, but it's not. I mean, not necessarily, I guess. And let's see how this does. Oh yeah, I mean, this is this is almost the same weight as what I've seen in the TFV2 and the Bella. Actually, I have the TFV2 right here. You know, this might actually be interchangeable. Same weight. I think the screws might be different, but yeah, I I think I prefer the finish on this guy. It's more of an antique brass, while this is kind of a shiny brushed brass. Um, I appreciate that they omitted their awful logo from the D65 one. And this is the uh, this is the weight on the Bella. I think it's the worst by far. And this also appears to be the same size. Like this one's kind of a antique brass brushed look. And oh, you know what? They're about the same. Oh, cool thing here. Um, this is infilled. You see that black in there? Like that's not just a shadow, it's actually black, some kind of black material uh, that's filling in the space. I, I haven't seen this on any other keyboard before. Um, so that's nice, I think it's cool. Yeah, the weight is indeed tiny. I have a weight o meter here. It is 10 ounces, 10.8 ounces, or 300 grams. So that's like, I mean, like why even bother, you know? Just get rid of it, it's fine. I don't know much about uh, what goes into filling, but uh, I don't know, enamel filling kind of feels right to me. I guess I'll go with that. The threads on this is kind of tight. I've noticed that with certain E-finish um, boards. Maybe they add some amount of thickness or something. No, I really like this weight um, in terms of the way it looks uh, just from the uh, engraving. Um, that's nice, but I just don't see the point of including something this small. Um, I think it's like a, I think it's a noob trap to be honest. All right, getting into the main case. Yeah, these Torx heads are, I don't know. They're not great. I prefer hex heads. Mostly because I own a set of screwdrivers for hex heads. What, what about aluminum weights? Um, I mean, that really wouldn't really be a weight, would it? But I think that still adds unnecessary complexity to the machining of the case. So they should not do that either. Oh god, that's really up on there tight. Um, I think AIO3 had a falling out uh, over the Bella um, because in its uh, first form it was very close to what AIO3 was working uh, working on in terms of a 75% reference design. 
Um, but um, I'll get into it in the Bella review, but I think it'd be kind of offensive to say that Bella is a ripoff of Area 3 stuff because it's kind of horrible. Alright, this is kind of cool. This bottom piece feels nice and dense. It's got a good amount of, uh, what do you call this, thickness, I guess? Um, I don't know. This top piece seems pretty complicated. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the uh, 8X Mark II's top case. Uh, except, I mean, this asymmetrical stuff that's very reminiscent of canoes and other percent works designs as well as uh, the Space 65, I think. Um, All right, it looks like we have a Phillips head screw here for the blocker. It looks like this. Fits into this little piece like that. I mean, I don't know who's out here changing colors on their blockers, but I guess if you wanted the option, it's there. Um, and we have the uh, analog on the bottom case here, with this blocker. Get that off. It's this tiny little accent piece. I don't know, this just seems like a lot of complexity for not much gain, especially like on this bottom and like you see one square centimeter of it uh, up on the side and I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it. I'll just put that back together. Yes, this is supposed to be e-yellow. Or, I mean, it's not supposed to be, it's like, it is e-yellow. Oh shoot, wrong screw. Uh, KBD Fans' E Yellow has always been um, decisively pumpkin. I have lost that screw. That's okay. The typing is stiff on this guy. Yeah, I think that would make sense because uh, one unusual thing about the mounting on this board is that um, there are side, side mounting points. Uh, you put thin little uh, foam strips here. And uh, typically, uh, like in stuff in like Polaris, uh, you would have just the uh, front and rear tabs here, um, which makes a lot of sense. But these side mounting points usually not a thing. I'm still looking for my screw, but I mean, would you be able to tell which one of these goes on the bottom blocker? You know, I was actually really nervous about this stream, but hopefully guys get something out of it. Okay, I chose one at the ran at random and it worked out. And yeah, so okay. So where do we want to go from here? Do I want to build the keyboard? I mean, not really. But I guess I should at least get something going.
off by the speaker. Speaking of things that are off by the speaker, I got these stickers. Uh, you guys can check it out on the link below. Can I get an eye roll, please? LTTstore.com <laughs> Oh, I forgot to men mention uh, Luke Kane in chat, who just donated $5. Thank you so much. Uh, also donated $6.50 at 10.30 a.m., 12 hours before the stream. So, uh, thanks a lot for that. Um, I'll uh, make sure to put it, the, put it to good use. Alright, I guess I can go ahead and start assembling the board. Um, I'll put the gasket on first. Next to the mat between the speaker and the mat. Okay, okay, thank you. It is actually not the same as the screws I used. Uh, oh, I wouldn't say KVD fans boards are not that good. Uh, for example, Polaris was fulfilled by KVD fans. I think it's very nice. Um, the KVD 8X Mark II is very nice. Mm, albeit some some flaws. Um, but the Bella is very not nice. TFV2 is kind of nice if it wasn't for its like, you know safety concerns uh, over catching fire and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess I buy it because a lot of people do buy it and it's useful to have content for uh, high volume keyboards. All right, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start to install some of these uh, gasket strips onto the plate. Um, I saw the guide online. There are three different uh, sizes of these gaskets that you got to keep in mind. Um, this one just seems to be the normal one, so I'm going to just go ahead and put it right over here. Oh, shoot. This is probably painful to watch. These gaskets don't fit. Look at that. Am I doing something wrong? Oops. I broke it. That's all right. Uh, I believe the side gasket is, uh, are these uh, thinner ones over here? Because the side gasket wing is thinner. I think the length is just not matched correctly. Uh, Max101 says, are the gaskets supposed to go on the case? Um, so, The guide says to put it on the plate, and Polaris also says to put it on the plate, um, but also says that for those of you wanting to use a separate plate, you should put it on the case. I never really understood that. I, I think my intuition is to put it on the case, but I'm just going to follow what they're um, asking me to do here. All right. I guess I do appreciate that they included two sets of gaskets because um, like you couldn't find these easily if you were to, I don't know, break them or want to attach them to a different plate. Um, and that's a problem you'd have with Polaris and that's why I installed it onto the case rather than the, uh, rather than the, what do you call it? the plate. At least with the EY finish, this is fairly easy to kind of pull off and reinstall if you make a mistake, so I don't think it's a big deal. I 
I haven't watched the uh, Random Frank P's video, but I don't think this keyboard would work properly if you didn't install the gaskets because the PCB plate assembly would kind of rattle around. Um, I did see that some people on Reddit were missing gaskets and, you know, come on, don't forget that. Did I make a mistake? Oh yeah. So I think the guide says to use a short gasket over here. Let me just refer to it real quick. Yeah. So I need to take it off. Let me attach it somewhere else. All right. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll use a short gasket. You know, I'm kind of frazzled from doing the streaming. It's just like when I have problems at work, heart rate goes up. Oh, this is actually not easy to get off on some of them. All right, let's see. What's the orientation here? Okay, so it's got to go on the far side. So the manual says you should use a small gasket here because the blocker comes up right here and if you have the long one it will interfere with this part. With all of these uh, strips being longer than the, the, uh, the plate wings. I don't know if it's going to go in the case properly. Um, I guess I can check that right now. And I mean, it's okay, but oh. you can see here, like some of this squishes out. I think these were definitely designed for the plate, but the gaskets were cut incorrectly. So I might need to trim that a little bit. Well, that looks orange. Yes, it is orange. What you're seeing on screen is what I'm seeing in person. It is very distinctly orange. I know um, people who got the Polaris kind of felt cheated um, because their orange uh, or their yellow was orange, but I kind of like this look, so it's all right. This is kind of tedious. Got four more. Um, please don't commit war, war crimes. That is not JYMV certified. I removed the switch because uh, when I shake the table, it rattles and makes a racket. Is the foam between PCB and plate worth it? Um, I think that foam is more effective than just foam under the PCB in most circumstances. 
but it does end up kind of making um, everything sound the same no matter what board you're using. So I generally don't use foam anywhere on my board. I wish Cavity fans had uh, proper sizes for these gaskets. That would have been really great. All right, so gaskets are all on there. Uh, I did it while looking off screen, so they're kind of shoddy. Look at that banana. It's as crooked as, uh, I don't know, EPVT, GMK nowadays. I don't know. What's the most controversial thing to say nowadays? And uh, I can squish it to make it fit all right. And I think that's the intention anyway, so I think it's okay. All right, so that's gasket done. So I think this uh, white and orange combination is kind of attractive, I like it. I, I'm a big fan of these E finishes because they're really smooth uh, versus anodized finishes. Anodized finishes usually have kind of a shimmery look to them. And also it gets all the moisture from your hands. Um, in terms of QC, it seems to be okay. One weird thing I'm noticing here is that some of these, some of the top has these holes in it, and I'm not really sure what they're for. Do they intend to make a top mount plate because I don't think that would really work. And I know I know these are the screw holes for the bottom case. So that's not what that's for, but yeah. Uh it is not powder coating. It's uh it's called a E yellow. I think it's electrophoresis or something but it feels a lot like car paint. It's really great. Maybe KVD fans included uh, the screw holes for when inevitably the gaskets fail. All right, moving on to the PCB. I think I'm seeing, I'm seeing something I like, which are these adhesive conductive foam stickers so i saw this on the tf v2 as well you stick them on the pcb itself uh, the music production asks what is qc qc is a uh, quality control or quality check whichever one um, are you going to use the standoffs? I will not use the standoffs. Um, what they're referring to is, you see these uh, holes here on the plate? They correspond to holes on the PCB. And what you can do is create a, a, a fix these two together to make a solid assembly so that you can have it assembled and swap switches in without the PCB falling to the floor. I can actually show you an example. So this also has the capability to um, have those standoffs installed, but I don't have them installed. So like this PCB is just rattling on the bottom and I wouldn't be able to put uh, switches in it. The reason why I omit the screws is because then that then creates hard points at each one of these locations that could lead to inconsistency. I wasn't able to test it with the TFV2 because it was brass, but I might give it a go to see if it actually makes a difference. I think it would. Um, Dizzy Dave says, forgot to add that to my PCB. Is that a problem? Um, it 
if you don't notice it, it won't be a problem because uh, most custom keyboards don't have this. So this basically connects the PCB to the plate electrically. And then the plate, oh, I'm seeing an issue here. So the purpose of this um, conductive foam is to electrically connect the PCB to the plate. And then the plate then connects to the case, um, which basically grounds the uh, external uh, enclosure. So if you were to shock it, it, it would uh, go on without a hitch. Um, but if you've ever shocked any other metal keyboard, uh, you would notice that they either disconnect temporarily or permanently, or they just break or blow out LEDs. I've had this issue on the Polaris, the Space 65, the Xeno, uh, the minivan. I killed an RS-96. Um, and I blew out an undergoal LED in a KBD-19X. And yeah, so this that was a new addition on the TFV2, and I was very happy with it. Um, I think you can see the foam just under there. Uh, this keyboard is the only keyboard I own that can take shocks without a problem. And adding this foam here uh, would have helped if it wasn't for the fact that this plate doesn't actually electrically connect to the case. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. If you were to shock the plate, it would be okay. But if you were to shock the case, uh, that charge has nowhere to go. So it'll just jump onto your PCB and kill something. Yeah, so um, I've been seeing that a lot of uh, PCBs will say that they have ESD protection. But um, after talking to some people on Discord, um, apparently that really only protects you from shock from the USB port itself, which really doesn't really happen very often. Um, so if you wanted to add grounding to your case, you would uh, typically uh, somehow electrically connect your case to the um, USB shield. And then that should kind of do it. I haven't confirmed that though, so. How does one shock a keyboard? You have no idea how much I shock my keyboard. It w it's probably 30 times a day I shock my keyboard. And you know, if I look closely, I can actually see the shock jumping from my finger to the board. And it's kind of terrible. You should never conjoin case ground with digital ground without some kind of VSD. Uh, I guess I don't really know what that means. If you can explain, that would be great. Is VSD still an issue with newer PCB? Uh, yes. Polaris is pretty new. I still have, I, I have really bad issues with it. It disconnects and has um, goes into alt lock or um, control lock. Does carpeting contribute to VSD? I think it does. I also wear uh, rubber slippers around the house, um, so I, I think I kind of bring it upon myself, but I like wearing them and I shouldn't have to deal with this. Uh, what stabs am I going to use? I'm not going to use any stabs. This is just a test build I'm doing before it goes back into the closet. So I'm just going to put these switches in, do a quick little typing test, and that'll be it. Uh, these are actually switches custom made for me. They're called the uh, Gateron. No, uh, they're called um, SGYs, SGY switches. And I use them exclusively. Fortunately, they're not available for purchase. So I'm wondering if Vega's conductive foam would do anything because it kind of has the same setup as this board, right? Where the uh, plate isn't necessarily connected to the case. Um, 
I'm not saying I won't be using this board. I won't be using this board immediately because, uh, well, the group I for this has ended and I did manage to pick up a Vega. And once that comes, I'll want to work on the review for that one first before the group I ends. Hello, Chippy. I am the JYMV. Although JYMV is taken on certain platforms and is filled with randos. See, I don't know if regular sandwich mat will work. I guess I should have tested before putting all this foam on, but... Uh, I think the plate would just rattle around. Uh, Max101S, what's your daily driver? My daily driver is a TFV2 because the only reason is because it can handle ESD. Uh, Ali Lewis, aren't Gateron Yolos? Aren't they just Gateron Yolos with milky top housing? No, these are custom JYMV switches called SGYs. Huh, interesting. Okay. Sandwich mount working. I think, I guess that's good. Oh, though, maybe that doesn't bode well for the gasket mounting mechanism here. Because maybe that means there will be a whole, whole lot of compression, which might eliminate some of the, like, up and down characteristics that the board may or may not have. Uh, JYMV stands for, uh, JY is my initials, MV is mixed videos. Um, too late to change now. Okay, sorry, I was making a joke. These are Gateron Yellows. I only use stock Gateron Yellows for testing. SGY stands for stock Gateron Yellows. I really like aluminum plates because switches always just kind of snap into place. Whereas polycarbonate plates, you kind of have to work it and like bend the plate back into place because it doesn't snap in. <laughs> yeah, it's special, all right. Special stock. There should be basically no resistance from ground to the chassis. There should be more resistance from chassis to CPU than CPU to chassis. I guess that makes sense. My electrical education ended in AP physics in high school, so... Uh, I don't really know much about anything, really. Uh, why did I do this? I've never been trolled so hard in my life. Uh, I think brass kind of depends on how it's cut, but I feel like typically brass is not cut as well as aluminum. It's like either tighter or... <laughs> I am no doubt bending some switch pins here. Yeah, I'm not using stabs right now because um, this is a test build and I'll be rebuilding. Oh shoot, I forgot to use the uh, PCB foam. I don't like those anyway, so. I can at least test out the, um, the under PCB down here. 
their usual usual material. Let me see if I get any impression underneath. Raspberry Pi keyboard? Can you make Asmar Whispering keyboard vid build videos, please? Thank you. Sorry, I will not do such an obscene act. Oh no, I had this backwards, okay. Isn't this looking good? I really like this uh, orange. No regrets at all. Is the KB fans film good? Uh, I think so. Their material sometimes differs time to time. Um, this feels more like craft foam than the one in Polaris. Hey, chat is chat is like ten seconds behind, so it's hard for me, right? Can you make asthma flickering build videos then? See, I don't know why you don't like the weight. I think it looks great. I'm sure uh, KBD fans will have more of these in the future. This is like their KBD 67 Lite Plus. It's like their NK65 uh, aluminum edition. Why did it become so mainstream for Bills to have so much foam? Doesn't it defeat the purpose? Yes, I am very anti-foam. Um, I don't care as much about sound as some other people do. But I think, I think sound generally does become to more to my liking with foam. But uh, a lot of times foam under the PCB will totally kill the the internal vibrations, which I really enjoy feeling. Um, so I generally don't use foam. Oh wow, this is like, this is extremely stiff. This is not great. Let me, let me take out the foam. I think there's quite a bit of compression going on there. Yeah, generally when I'm evaluating a keyboard, I have certain thresholds that I want to meet for each category. Um, uh, I have, I need the keyboard to sound a baseline amount of good. Um, and that includes uh, stabilizer tuning. So basically if I have stabilizers that aren't terrible, I'm going to be pretty much set. Um, as for feel, I think I'm more picky about feel. feel. Um, I prefer bouncy plates. Um, one of my favorite keyboards is the IDB60. Uh, please don't spam. Why is it e-yellow if it's orange? Good question. Okay, maybe I can go ahead and mute the spammer, put user in timeout.
Lucane, do you just want to give me a lot of money? You're giving me $10 today. You don't have to do this. Oh, do we have a celebrity in chat? Uh, so KB fans has been doing this thing where they'll have uh, some amount of in-stock units um, and then they run the group at the same time. So I was able to get one of those uh, in-stock units. Oh, you know, I guess I want to speak on that a little bit. Uh, KB fans ran the in stock unit sale on October 15th and they said they were actually going to be in stock mid-November so they knew that they won't be able to fulfill the October 15 orders but why did they run it? I don't really understand I do think KB fans approach of um, providing a whole bunch of in stock units um, in tandem with running the group buy is the best approach for a large vendor because I don't think group buys are great um, for already established people. I think they're more of a starting mechanism and you know KB fans coming in here with 1000 units in stock and doing unlimited group series I think that really increases how accessible these boards can be to people. That's on Melody 65. Uh, I, I don't really like the way it looks. Um, I don't like the side mounting points. I don't know if that's been addressed yet. Um, otherwise, no strong thoughts. I wouldn't buy it, you know. But is that even a KBD fans board? Okay, I've removed the foam and it is extremely stiff. This is brass plate levels of stiff. Um, I like this better than the Melody 65. Do you not like boards with like TGRs and key cults? Uh, I couldn't tell you, I've never had one. I'm not about to spend aftermarket money for one. Uh, when is the bell of it? Uh, probably a long while since um, I'll be making the Vega video and then probably this guy afterwards but long story short Bella is not a good keyboard uh, KB67 Lite it seems um, I don't know it seems fine I haven't tried out these uh, budget plastic keyboards that's been all the rage nowadays, but I don't know, probably a good starting point. Are those milky yellows? They are, yes, they are stock Gateron yellows. Um, milky yellows, they have milky top and black bottom. Uh, they are whatever yellows you can get from novel keys. I guess I'm evaluating stiffness without actually putting keycaps on, so let me do that first. Yeah, I got the in-stock Vega. Uh, do I have a preferred keyboard material finish? I like aluminum keyboards. I like pol uh, polycarbonate. I like to have like two polycarbonate boards. Um, Finish, I've been liking this uh, E-finish texture-wise very much. Um, plate material is polycarbonate for sure, unless it's plateless, then that's also good. I'm putting on GMK Olivia. Is saying that this is R1 A-Flex? I don't know.
I got a PC D65 with PC plate in stock. I think it's going to be interesting. I agree. What does E white or E finish mean? Uh, I think E stands for electrophoresis. Um, I'm not sure about the details, but it just creates this kind of a uh, paint like it's like car paint, um, very smooth, glossy kind of finish, uh, rather than that metallic uh, finish on anodizing. Do you have a build service? Um, I do not. If not, if if not, it could give you a change chance to try other boards. So I've tried a lot of boards already and generally I have a pretty good idea of how they're gonna feel before I even get them. You can see my uh, Scarlet Van Bandana video. Um, that was all conjecture but I'm pretty sure I would be correct. Um, at this point, other than trying out uh, stuff like gummy worm gaskets, proper gummy worm gaskets, I don't think I'm itching to try a whole uh, bunch of stuff just for research purposes. But yeah, also uh, the duration of a build service wouldn't give me uh, a good understanding of the keyboard, I don't think. I think I need at least a week with it. Uh, where do you get the money for these keyboards? I have a daytime job. Um, GMK Pink Cafe. Uh, sure. <laughs> Putting on mod pipe is her heresy. Oh, I disagree. Why don't you use ortho as your main? Uh, I tried it when I was like really try hard um, back in college and it works for me I can use it all right uh, a plank uh, layout is okay for me but it just kind of takes up a lot of headspace and you know being a programmer you don't actually need all of that efficiency because you're just kind of sitting and thinking most of the time um, which PC did you get oh I, you got two alts on the left. Good catch. No pink mods. Uh, I usually get overwhelmed with accents. So even though I like seeing them, I typically don't use them. Thermal mounting is very unique. Yes, I would like to try, uh, um, Leaf spring for sure. Uh, I would like to trade. Oh, okay. Don't do trades on my on my chat, guys. You like the look of GMK think caps? I am not familiar. Mod pipe is wrong, but it looks good. I think I only use um, Alpha pipe when uh, it's bigger than a TKL. Um, you just sell a custom Joe MV key. I would like to, but I also want it to be like nice quality, not just WSD stuff. So that's the whole thing. Uh, MX Browns or Speed Silvers? MX Browns. Um, you liking what KVD Fans is churning out recently? So let me show you what KVD Fans has been churning out recently. This. TFV2, I, had a, I have a review on it, uh, overall positive, except that um, they used a incorrect daughterboard cable and um, caused some people's PCBs to light on fire. That's no good. But overall build quality and finish quality, it's very nice. It's not like KVD fans at all from before. This guy, I'm pretty happy with. I, like, I think this looks really great. Now. This guy, the Bella. Well, that's on the floor. The Bella. This is not a good keyboard. 
this is such it's so I'll talk more about it in the review but it ain't right um how do these keyboards compare to ducky uh, believe it or not I have never owned a ducky keyboard All right, so I guess we have our keyboard going. Let me get a quick sound test for you, I guess. All right, the mic, the mic is a uh, large diaphragm condenser and it's kind of off axis so it's going to be it's going to sound kind of bad but here it is Alright, that's... I don't know, it seems fine. I think I might have done something wrong with the build because there is... like, this is... this is beyond brass stiff. This is 5mm... 5mm plate stiff. I think I'll have to go back and look at it because, you know, I'm like two feet away from the board from my eyes and I might have done something wrong. But... Yeah, these are, yeah, they are, these are totally unlooped. Let me take out my headphones. Yeah, it does sound vaguely hollow. Um, it sounds like tactile, this is, these are linears. What specific cube designer do you like as a recent? Um, I like AI03. I like the way he's been running his stuff and he seems to have so many designs coming. Um, I did not get the KBD fans Ma Maja or Maha. Um, I don't like the arrow cluster on that guy. Um, take off the space fire, it is too distracting. You distracted by this? This guy? Is this distracting to you? Um, mine is unbelievably stiff as well. Mine is super bouncy. Oh, that's weird. I guess um, people have different definitions of what bounce is. What I'm looking for is when I do this with my right hand, what do I feel on my left hand? And here, I feel nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Um, mine is not that stiff. My D D65 is stiff. Uh, Vega sounds better. Vega is also almost double the price. My total came out to like $409. It's kind of insane. Um, there are, yeah, I didn't put stabs on it because I'm not actually going to use this in, in this, uh, <laughs> in this configuration. Um, D65 should flex. Let me see how this does. There is no flex. Okay, I think I'm leaning towards I did something wrong. Um, me da ese teclado. I know teclado is keyboard probably. <laughs> Why are you doing this to us? You mean this? Uh, Duroc V2 stabilizers, I have not. I have a big stockpile of old GMK stabs that I just cycle through my boards. Um, when I sell a board, I keep the stabs. Uh, fix space bar, please. No. 2020 is an overall not good year, but I'm making videos like crazy. Yeah, 20, 2020 is the reason I've been making so many videos. 
Since you don't like the look of Maha, do you like the bear ergo? I'm not familiar with the with the bear ergo. Uh, ergo's um layout. I like the logo, but is it just a just a straight Alice layout? Uh, zero flex. Based on how much you have to compress the gasket, it should be super firm. Did you put the gaskets on both sides? Yes, I did. What would you have done wrong? Put the switches. Uh, I think so. The I didn't clip the gaskets. Um, I'm wondering if there's some kind of like jamming going on between the top and bottom cases, and that could cause some kind of something. I don't know. Um, I also followed the whole shipping on the D65 video. Uh, oh, one thing I saw on the D65 video. This was a demo, right? This is like a demonstration of flex. But the thing is, uh, if you don't have a daughter board, your USB port becomes a mounting point. You see that? This is this is a hard point at which your keyboard bottoms out on. And that's why I'm such a proponent of USB daughter boards, because it gives the board room to flex. And that's what I like. Uh, these are Gateron Yellows, upcoming boards that I have my attention. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to buying some of the cheaper keyboards like the uh, NK65 and all the variants. Um, I have seen the Box 75 there. It's a really interesting design, but I'm not really a fan of 75%. Um, it's a 65% Alice, kind of like the Maha, but different cluster. Uh, I see. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. The only 65% uh, Alice-like layout I've seen that I liked is the uh, the LZ Physics. Um, I have some thoughts about that board uh, that are negative, but one positive thing is that the layout's cool. Um, didn't you take the gaskets off? I did not take the gaskets off. I only took the bottom foam out. Huge USB cutout Korean style to accommodate without that. Yeah, I, that's that's the easy way to do it. Uh, thanks for check, uh, stopping by, uh, Hippo. Hippio. If you were to make your own desired keyboard, what would it be? Oh, I, I actually have an idea for it. It's going to be a 60% top mount at six points. Uh, it's going to have an FR4 plate, and it's going to be hand wired um, and each of the wires will have good amount of flex so that um, the plate has to plate has a lot of room to bow up and down I think that would be my ideal and then we'd have the controller laying outside the keyboard uh, what mic do I have I have an Rode NT1A do I plan on getting that budget Rama yeah I yeah I think I'm gonna get one what is the verdict the KVD Fans D65 is an attractive keyboard for a kind of a high price considering it's KVD Fans, but the unit I have is fairly nice in terms of finish quality, um, but the typing experience it delivers is not exactly what I'd expect from a mount of this type. Uh, I have Polaris, um, which has a PC half plate. Uh, with the same kind of mounting and that's like way more flexy um, I understand it's half plate but I wouldn't expect it to be this different um, oh how much does it weigh This is the fully built weight. I guess it doesn't have solder on it. So I'll add a couple grams for that. So a kilo and a half. Uh, just over three and a half pounds. It's a pretty weighty board. It definitely feels dense in the hand. 
Um, what else? I wrote out some notes. Um, okay, so the price is 269 for a regular aluminum with an aluminum plate. That's the cheapest configuration. This guy was 319 with uh, the E white plate and the E yellow case. Um, it does have a 3 plus 2 blocker. Uh, I like this. I actually generally prefer 6.25U spacebars to 7U because they're easier to tune. Um, yeah, I guess all that, that's all I wanted to cover. Um, yeah, I guess my first impression is that it's really stiff. This is not what I uh, expected or really wanted from this board. Um, I guess I was expecting a, a Polaris type of feel, but that's too bad. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start closing up the stream. I'll stick around for about 10 more minutes answering questions if you have any. Um, Jeremy Y asks, uh, have you heard of the Pizza 65? Yeah, I've seen it. It seems pretty basic, which is exactly what they're going for. Seems all right, I guess. Uh, Rock asks, any thoughts on the stock? Any thoughts on in-stock custom keyboards? I'm a big fan of them. Um, I don't think group eyes are really great, and I don't think they're the future of how all of this is going to work. So big vendors uh, like KVD fans um, who have the capital to buy um, in-stock stuff, I think that's going to be a real benefit to the community. Typing test for one last time? Sure. The too long didn't watch is that good looking keyboard, good QC, really stiff, um, kind of expensive. Last whisper, Asmar, as a treat. Um, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thoughts on GMK Pro. I picked one up. It seems very promising, but. Um, I will reserve judgment until I get it. Uh, I did get a Vega. Huge difference between gasket mounts and top mounts in general. Yes, there is. Um, top mount uh, kind of shows out the characteristics of a plate. Gasket mount, uh, at least this type, um, kind of eliminates all of the vibrations inside the case, uh, which is, I mean, you might like it. I don't like it, though. Um, are you going to save this pod? I'm going to I'm gonna unlist it. I'm going to um, download it and edit it so that it's easier to watch. Uh, my daily driver is a KBD Fans TF V2 only because it can take ESD. Um, I think NT1 is the Asmar mic. Uh, I don't know much about Asmar, but um, <laughs> I, I do want to pick up a new mic at some point. Um, what are your favorite switches of all time? I like uh, Kale Pro Purples, um, Get On Yellows, like, I'll deal with them, they're okay, uh, I'm not really, I, like, I'm not in love with them, I use them because they're cheap. Um, I also like MX Browns, Get On Browns, uh, controversial opinion, I know, but whatever. Um, Kokolu says, show cat. Uh, I dropped it on the floor earlier, let me try and grab it.
TLDR comparison between Leopold TKL 980 KVD8X and the best TKL we've tried. Oh, uh, that's a loaded question. Uh, you should get a Leopold if you're um, if you don't want to get into the hobby, and then you can leave. Um, if you do want to get into the hobby, I guess 8X is kind of a good first board. It's kind of expensive though. Favorite design of the year? Uh, I don't know about favorite. Oh, K. Uh, design by Bizaromi is 100% my favorite design uh, in terms of the way it looks. Um, favorite keyboard you actually used? Uh, IDB60. Um, what am I doing? I'm closing up the stream for first impressions. Um, I'll have VODs. Favorite board that I own right now? IDB60. Oh, I guess Jelly60 is kind of up there, but. Uh, that like halfway caught on fire yesterday, so <laughs> Okay, you say it's a dog, but is it really though? Uh, okay, maybe from this angle it's a dog, but straight on that's a cat dude Um, I have some opinions about people who don't like this cat uh, You can not like the Bella for a whole lot of reasons, but not liking it because just because of the cat is, I don't think, very valid. Um, yeah, burgundy is pretty scratchy, but pro purples is all right, and I like the the subtle bump on the top. Um, will keycaps work with Razer keyboards? I think MX compatible works right, but the bottom row is bad. Uh. Okay, I understand what Wei said about this, but that's a cat. I'm sorry. Um, did you shock your Jelly 60? No, I think it was a, a bad USB cable, possibly, because I used it with a different cable for a while and it was fine. Uh, spoilers, the cable came with the LZ Physics. That kind of sums up how I feel about the physics as well. Um, I have never shocked a board. Uh, you are blessed. Does PC case have ESD issue? Uh, they do not. Have you tried Greetech Browns? I have. Um, they're kind of like a unrefined, sharper version of Browns. They're all right. Physics review not anytime soon, but I don't like the board. Um. All right. I think I should be heading out soon. Um. Thank you everyone for tuning in and um, I think I would like to continue doing this for unboxing and kind of initial assembly kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I think the next one is going to be the Vega, um, but I don't plan on doing like regularly scheduled streams at this time though. So yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my merch at my Redbubble store in the description. We got cute little stickers here, um, lttstore.com, etc. So yeah, thank you all.